Hey, Dave Lacalli with Head Games Motorworks. Today, we're going to show you the very first BMW S58 CNC head from Head Games. Check it out. So our boy Bernard, he brought his cylinder head in the first time and it was a wreck. You might want to take a look at our old video. He brought it in because, well, nobody else could fix it. So we, as soon as he brought it in, I knew what was wrong with it and he took it in and I begged him at that time, can we do a head for you? He had a spare head, he sent it over and voila. voila. We have the first S58 head. So one of the big differences in this cylinder head versus his first one is we have OEM size valves. Now, the reason why we went to OEM size valves is because the valve seat itself is not really big enough to put an oversized valve. It puts the 45 almost at the edge of the valve seat, uh, almost in the aluminum, and then you have issues when it comes to longevity. So now he's not gonna have that problem. The head CNC ported. We have GSC valves. The GSC exhaust valve picks up 30 CFM just by itself. Doesn't need anything else. Valve job, bronze guides, and now we're ready to make some jam. Another crown jewel is the spring kit. You guys have seen our other video where we tested all the spring kits against each other, and we're gonna use the GSE spring kit because, well, it's just the best on the market. The reason why this valve flows so well is the tulip on the, side of, on the back side of the valve. The tulip really adds some airflow, and um, I mean, I just can't say enough about how cool this valve is and how it was great to work with GSC to come up with something that not only works, but flows well too. What is this box over here? Because I've noticed it was just been sitting here. Can I open this? Can I you see can what's open inside? It. Absolutely. That is the crown this, jewel. Is it? So you got GSC. me a, a surprise? A How long have we been waiting for, for this? We've been waiting a little while. Six months, seven months? Six, seven months, Eight yeah. months? So the difference is that uh, GSC, Although they're not first in the market, they wanted to make sure that they got it right when they did actually bring the cams out. Mm -hmm. um, so they looked at a lot of things, a lot of the OEM design, and you need to take that thing you out You can take there. it off, right? Yeah, you need to Damn. look how beautiful that Fresh. is. Fresh. And okay. I think what we came up with was something that is special. It's easy to install. We installed some actually oh my at goodness. DX2K and uh, everybody really- This liked. is, what it's is beautiful. this? That is a work of art. Tell this me. is, man, oh my yeah. goodness. So one thing wow. that they also changed was you do not need the OEM uh, trigger. So oh, trigger that's right, trigger is yes. actually built into the, into the camshaft. That is great. No guesswork. Uh, the lobe is the same size as the OEMs. Yeah. That's something else that people have complained about other camshafts, that the lobes are actually a different size or a different width and then you have to trim the rocker and you have to do all that stuff. So that, that's kind of why GSC took a while to come out with them because they just wanted to make them right. Correct. Well, to talk about the trigger. Actually, we had an issue with that because once you install that trigger in the engine, if it's not aligned correctly, when you start the car up, you will get codes on your car. Yeah. We've noticed that. So even if it's off just by a little, it's not perfectly aligned when it's get, getting installed just a little bit, it'll trigger a code on the car. So this is beautiful that it's, they have actually included it. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, because there's One less like thing to 10, worry 000, about, you know? Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's ten thousands of, of- I mean, look at this uh, thing. This thing is- Of movement actually in that trigger. Correct, no, that was a great idea. Great idea. Yeah. Wow, beautiful piece. I can't wait, exciting to put this in and uh, see what we can do. Yeah, man. Awesome. Great work, GSC, thank you. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys this monster. This thing, Bernard's car, is so badass. So you can follow him on S58NYC on Instagram, and this thing is just beautiful. Now, what we're talking about is what's done to it. What's done to it, Bernard? Oh, man, where do I start? I mean, for starters, obviously, fully built motor. 
uh, fully built transmission. Uh, we're still on a hybrid turbos. Uh, this is still not a single turbo. Um, I wanted to go as fast as possible before we uh, actually upgrade to a single, but after today and, you know, with the new head games cylinder head, I think it's time to go single because these hybrids, I, I, I think gay. we're maxed out. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're kind of gay. I think hybrid turbos are Dave, kind of... Uh, 8.8 eight at mean, 162 cool, miles per hour from a hybrid turbo? Kind of cool. Yeah. But like, it's like being half pregnant. Like you're almost <laughs> there. You bought a turbo, yeah. you had it installed, yeah. and you uh, you could just go there and be there. I, I mean, but I get <laughs> yeah. it. Guys, guys like to do that. They want to have that maybe... Listen, when I was doing whatever. hybrid turbo, singles were not even around at that time. I get you. So now they, you. in the last six months, the popularity of the single, now everybody wants to do a single, right? Yeah. But, okay. I have a single as well. So it's coming. So it's I think time to, like, uh, it's jam. time. Yeah. It's time to make some jam. I'm trying so to get serious. Head, with all the other parts, he's got a CSF intake manifold. Um, what, what piston rods in it? Uh, all CP. CP? Yeah. And then, uh, well, you got a CP piston and I guess a... Uh, I don't even know the rods. I think they're uh, the Heinz or whatever. No, the Eagles. I got Eagles? these. Like this is the original. Man, we got this like last year. Okay. I got so much stuff in this car. Sometimes I even forget myself. So we want to make I a have. window. We don't know. Yeah. We want to make a little window, but we will put the head on it. Put the. That's okay. In the it. motor's coming out anyway. Yeah. Your head is going on there. Uh, the block is going to get done up. The single turbo is going to go on. The man so turbo. So it's not going to be gay anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be straight now. <laughs> so the man turbo. Not the gay people. Yeah, no offense. No offense. No, no, They're yeah. still men. Exactly. Still men. Yeah. No offense to anybody. Yeah. This is just car talk. Yeah. So. You just a little, you know, hi. <laughs> That's what I think of them. But the car um, is beautiful, man. I really appreciate you, you guys thank you. You bringing it out. And um, It's very loud. Yeah. yeah let's so. start it up. You guys want to hear what it sounds like? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into this because I'm fat. And I don't think that these seats are very fat guy friendly, but we're going to try. Well, let's test it out. Let's test it out. First ever. Let's see. Ooh. Survey says. Bad. What do you think? Ooh, not bad. I can get into this. Ooh. I am quite smitten. Nice, right? Wow. That exhaust oh is uh, from my buddy IRL out of Chicago. Shout out to him. He sponsored the exhaust system on the car. So that's what you're hearing right now. You guys did an awesome job on that exhaust system. Titanium or steel? No, this is stainless steel. Okay. Custom made. He did I like it for this the car, car and fiber. Then, is know. this all factory? This is not yeah, factory, all right? factory. You have yep. the M1 and M2 buttons that are pre-programmed. Yeah. Uh, you could put the car in full rear wheel drive mode or you could put it in all wheel drive mode. You know, one touch of a button. That's it. Very yeah. convenient. Wow. Yeah. All right, here's the tough part. <laughs> Fat guy trying to get it out of the car. I think it was pretty easy. Or I'm very nimble. I don't know. It could be one or the other. I've gotten out of cars with cages and stuff. So, it's man, this thing bad. is beautiful. It's got some bad. Apex wheels. Yep. So that does it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Bernard's car. He's ready to make love to the cylinder head and uh, <laughs> he's in love. Stay tuned. We're going to put these, his car and other cars. We're going to show you the, the differences in the cylinder heads and uh, that's it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Toodles.